All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we were on the F-250. We're going to do a little preview of some paint on the truck that we're going to be doing this weekend. Uh, once we get it all done and put back together and everything, we'll do a walkthrough, kind of throw up some side-by-side -side before and after pictures, but just to kind of go over real quick what's the plan. So the, all this brushed aluminum, chrome, whatever you want to call it, all this is going to be painted going to do something with this Ford emblem as well. Uh, we've got the front bumpers on. I don't know if y'all have seen that yet. So those are on. They look amazing. Uh, the black, gloss black in the center with the body colored on the sides. Uh, we have some install videos of that on Colt's Way. That's another YouTube channel. We'll put the link probably up here or in the description or somewhere. Y'all can watch how to, how to install and remove the old bumper and he'll, he'll walk you through that. So that's the plan for up here. This whole grill will be painted. I'm gonna leave the headlights, I'm not gonna tint them or anything. So moving on to the side to this fender badge, gonna take it out, paint it. Not sure how that's gonna come out, what I'm gonna end up doing with it, but we'll do something with it. It's pretty much just going to be a whole chrome delete. So even the mirror caps, we're going to take them off, paint those body color, going to do something with these emblems down here. Again, I don't know what, we'll figure a lot of this stuff out in the paint booth, what looks good, what doesn't look good. Uh, this chrome strip here by the window. So not sure how that's going to work. We're going to take it all apart, see what we can do to paint it if flat black will work or gloss black because this is gloss, but the rubber seal around it is flat black, may not look right. We'll play with that same issue down here on the steps, fold out steps. We'll see what happens with everything, with those two anyway. Uh, door handles, there'll be body color. Door handle, we'll get all that. Tail lights, we'll tint those. Don't know exactly yet how dark, what we're, how many coats we're gonna put on it. Again, something else we'll figure out in the paint booth. Once we spray a couple coats, we'll see what looks good, what looks right. Don't wanna overdo it and make it pitch black. Uh, this whole plaque here, we're gonna do something with that. I don't know exactly what the plan is yet, but it's gonna be cool. We're gonna do something with it. Uh, we'll have to, you'll have to stay tuned for that and just see what we end up doing. This little Ford emblem here, it's blue and chrome. Not gonna have that. We'll do something else with that as well. So, like I said, we're gonna tear it all apart, take it all down and go to the paint booth and we'll see you when we get done. We're at another stage of the build of the F-250. We're gonna go through, give a little walk around, talk about what's been done, what's to come. Think we're gonna take a little break on it now, help the pocketbook out a little bit, and my time and sanity. It's been a long process. We've been through a lot, but let's go through everything so far as you see the truck now. So remember this little chrome piece up here we talked about on the window trim that has actually been wrapped. We took mirrors off, took all kinds, uh, look, the whole truck has almost been disassembled. It's been insane. So shout out to my painter, great, he's amazing. Uh, he ended up wrapping this, wrapped this chrome piece on the fold out steps. So that helped a lot. Uh, the door handles, they've been painted to match body color. Uh, we go on, we'll go this way. So the mirror caps, they were chrome. They've been painted to match body color. Again, painter is amazing. He went above and beyond. So we'll go through, show you some close-ups of all this and how great he is and how talented he is. Uh, we took, we ended up taking these off. Remember, we wasn't sure how we were gonna do these. So 
We went through and peeled them off, decided they looked better with a little black out, outline and body color face of it. Think they turned out great. Got these done. What we did here, so you notice we left the platinum in the regular chrome or brushed or whatever you want to call it. That did not come apart like we thought it would. So we decided to leave it. It ties in some of the rest of the truck. We'll get to that later. Uh, mirrors, let's see. Got that. Got the wrap, the wrap. Let's move on to the front, Josh. So we've got the front bumpers. These are the Road Armor Identity bumpers. We went ahead with the cube lights in here. Again, Painter, we collaborated, we got with him, we talked about it, we said this is kind of the vision we're going towards. He was very helpful and very, uh, he, he got the vision as well. So when we said this is kind of what we want to do with the bumper, this is what we want to do with the grill, this is what we're going for the whole truck, he got it too and he offered suggestions, we can do this, we can do that we can make it look like what you want it to look like in the final scenario. So that's what we did. Black center section of the bumper, body color to match. We even did the black trim on the outline. So we've got that to help stand out on the edge here. We've got some running lights here, some fog lights here. Of course, all the bar lights, monster tow hooks. Because they're in the black section, we went ahead and did it body color to match. Same thing on this trim piece here. So it's in the black section. To help it stand out a little more, we went body color. So because this is black, we took this whole grill apart. We did black, 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 and then body color on this big piece. Check out that Ford emblem, y'all. That is legit. I think it ties it all together black Super Duty stickers. I already had that. I don't know if I mentioned that on the last video or not, but that's what that is. And I, and I think it just ties it all together. Everything works out great. Everything is just what we had envisioned and talked about. So very happy. It, it just, it comes together amazing, uh, especially when lights are on and, and, and I've got them all on upfitter switches and I can turn some lights on, some off. It's, it's really cool. We're going to show you that here in a little bit. Uh, Look, I noticed this truck is not uh, squatting in the back. You're able to afford both, both halves? Oh, yeah, man. Look, and I, yeah, uh, the squat, afford both halves. <laughs> you, you, when you buy a lift, it comes with both halves. I don't get it. I don't know if you call them up and say, hey, look, I only want the front half of the truck. I'm going to leave the back squatted. Or if you don't have time to put the rear on. I don't know what it is, Josh, but it's kind of funny how they do that. I didn't want to go that route. I know that's the fad, the cool thing to do nowadays. I, I decided to go ahead and throw the back part on to get it lifted up as well. So anyways, still running the same lift, BDS four inch, uh, got the little antenna on. Uh, we've been over all this. I think deleting the chrome turned out amazing. So, of course, same thing. Door handles, y'all are about to lose your mind when you see this. Tail lights have been painted. Well, not well, I guess they were painted. He tinted them. Tinted this section. And look at this trim right here. What are you talking about? You talk about talented. I mean, it turned out great with this rear bumper. It ties the black in, the black, and the black, and left the letters in that brushed aluminum. Y'all, it couldn't have turned out any better than what we had pictured. In fact, when we were painting, we were kind of playing around in the paint booth, and he already put one coat of paint on these tail lights. And I told him, I, I, I waved my hands, and he stopped painting and came out, and I, I said, hey, look, if I'm not mistaken, I said, I think the body lines from that platinum badge lines up with the tail light right here and it gets darker, obviously. And he said, as he's in the paint booth, he said, I think I can get this darker than this. And I was like, man, no way. We're gonna have to take it out, start all over, start taping up, redo it, put one or two coats down on this section, 
take the tape off and the paper off, then redo everything else. And he's like, I got this, get out of my paint booth. Let me show you how to do it. And that's what turned out crazy, talented, amazing. Couldn't be more happy. Uh, Ford emblem here, got rid of that blue, got it body colored and everything's gloss black. Went with the monster hooks again on the rear. Not sure how I feel about the monster hooks. They do kind of look mean, but I had it for a while without the hooks on it. So maybe I'm just more accustomed to that. Y'all comment down in the bottom. Tell me what you think, yes or no. I mean, let's be honest. I'm not going to be exactly in the mud holes pulling people out. That dude's a pavement princess. Man, it, it, it's a pavement princess, not a trailer princess. <laughs> I will still be driving it every day. But I'm not going to throw a chain on it either. I've got a rope. And we'll use that instead of a chain. So going around everything. Oh, remember this was chrome, this chrome uh, tailgate handle. We decided to wrap that. It was a lot of trouble taking a lot of some stuff, a lot of some stuff. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, some of the stuff taking it apart was going to be a lot of trouble to paint and get it put back together properly. So some stuff we decided to wrap. Some stuff we decided to paint. Hello. I mean, that is the way to go. So that was the route we went. Uh, I, I couldn't be happier with everything. The way it turned out, we've got oh, gobs of hours, time into it galore. There's uh, there, there, there's so much involved that I never dreamed it would take. I thought in my mind it was going to be a simple, let me just drive the truck to the painters. He can have it, and he'll call me when it's done. Well, it didn't work out like that. The painter really didn't have room for the whole truck, so ended up taking everything apart here and bringing the parts to him, and that worked out a little better for both of us. I was able to still work on some stuff while the truck was in my shop here at the house, and he could do his own thing, and when it was time to paint, I would just come over there and help him, and but pretty much I, I don't know what I did other than comedic relief. I mean, he did everything. So everything turned out great. Really happy with everything. Got everything done for now. Uh, we, we've done four scan. We've, we've plugged that all that up. We've got the fuel tank size recalibrated. We played with the tire size a little bit. If y'all haven't done that, don't. Let me tell you, that's a headache and a chore, and it throws off a lot of stuff. For some reason, Forescan doesn't like changing tire sizes. I didn't realize that until I entered in tire size. Don't do that. Uh, I haven't done Bambi mode yet on it. We're going to show you some lights here in just a second. So I don't think I need Bambi mode. You know, again, y'all can comment down below and tell me what you think. So what else did we do on for scan, Josh. Oh, we did some... Uh, DEF. Yep, the DEF filter. That's right. So change that up and put that percentage... On the dash. On the dash, so where you know where it's at. That you way can do you, manual regions. Yeah, I can't do a manual regen. I didn't do that. Okay. But at least I put the percentage up. Gotcha. So I know if I'm driving along and it says, you know, 99% full, I know it's probably fixing to go into a regen. And if I'm pulling up in the driveway, well, I'll leave it running and go in the house or do whatever. So that was helpful. I thought there was something else that was involved with Forescan that we played around with. Maybe not, I'll think of it later. Anyways, let's get on. I'm gonna show you some lights, show you some backup lights. They're kind of bright, some stuff is kind of cool. So let's show you what that's gonna look like. 